Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can have a bullet chart in a Power BI reports. First, we will go and add the visuals. Since it's a custom visual, so we will go here. We will select get more visuals. And here I will search for bullet chart. Let's go up. So here you can see this is the one we will add. loading so you can see here also how it will look like you can see different types of how you can modify it and how it will look so i will simply go and click add now it has been imported so i will click here and i will select my bullet chart now you see that we have these fields that we have to populate first i will show you the data that I've already connected here. So this is the data in my Excel. Here you can see that I have a category, sales, revenue, profit, customer growth, market share, the current value, what is the target value, what is the minimum that we have to achieve, and if which will be the needs improvement. So for example, if we have 60 or, or less from this 100, it will need improvement. It is above minimum, but still it will need improvement. What is the satisfactory sales value that we are looking for? What will be a good sales value? What will be very good? The maximum that we can go and what was the previous year sales? Similarly, we have data, similar data for our revenue, profit, customer growth and market share. Now let's go back and connect it. So I'll go here. I will expand my bullet chart. So the category. I will bring category and the value will come our value like our sales value. Now here we will add target value. I have already added in my data the minimum maximum needs improvement but here I will show you later you can also add it here and have it customized for all a single for, in, for example, in percentage, but we have different values. So we will use this. I will bring the minimum needs improvement. Satisfactory. Now you will see how it's appearing. Good. Very good. Where is very good? Yeah. The maximum, if you want, you can add. It will add as a marker. So we can add maximum if you want. So you can see it's here. And also previous year sales. Now it's also appearing as previous year sales. Now let's go further in and see how we can format our visual. I'll click on format visual. And the data values, what I was saying earlier was, for example, in the satisfactory, we can define a percentage, but it will be the same percentage for all. Here we have different kinds of data. For example, it's different for sales. It's different for when revenue, the satisfactory. It's different for customer growth. But if I want satisfactory to be, for example, 60% for all, I will remove it from here. And here I will add simply 50. So now 50% of each, the total of sales target and the total of revenue targets, 50% of each will be our satisfactory. Similarly, you can do the same for good, very good, maximum, needs improvement. I'll just leave that as it is. In the tool tips, if I go here, you can see some of value, some of target value, some of previous year sales. Let's just change it to YTD sales. We can just rename it here. Okay, sales target. And we can have previous year sales now if i go here now you can see that it has been changed in the category labels if you want to change anything if you want to change the font you can do it here the maximum width color font size i will just leave it in the orientation you can change it if you want for example if i do vertical top this is how it will look like horizontal right Let's make it as this. And the colors again, you can change the colors that are here. I will just leave it. 
in the access also if you want to have it or no and similarly if you want to sync access in the general formatting you can change the properties you can change the title i will just remove the title altogether If you want to add any effect, if you want to add a background, let's say if you want to just add a background color, you can do that. If you want a visual border, if you want to have a shadow. So now you see this, my art bullet chart is ready. Let me just select it and go back. Also, if you want to add, change any data format, for example, for your value, if there's any, for example, percentage, decimal whole number you can do it here for any of the fields that you are using you can change the data format or header icons and alternative text so this is how easily you can create a bullet chart in your power bi report i hope this video helped don't forget to subscribe for more thank you